Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna build a small farm. Well, I'm gonna build a raid farm. And <clears throat> I'm gonna build it in the most easy way that I could think about. And because I don't need a highly advanced raid farm and well if you do please look up double moses on youtube he has the most amazing raid farm and but this is going to be a very crude very simple one and uh, yeah i'm having some materials put together uh, it's not a lot most of this the wood for example i think you can craft out of the wood in the tower itself because most of this is going to be taken down uh, you can take it all down if you want but in this tutorial I am not going to do that I'm going to do the bare minimum of what you need so let's get to it I'm gonna build this in creative mode but if you are in survival and you want to avoid these pesky pillagers that roams around this area the easiest way is to fly in on the top levels And just go down and block off the entrances. For now, and start demolishing this place from the inside. Uh, you should be quite safe in here <clears throat> and the first thing I'm gonna do is well I'm gonna remove the floor And I'm gonna start with a two wide area going out against the edge like this so that you have a platform that is five by five in the middle. And I'm gonna replace this with cobble. You can use whatever non-flammable material you want. Uh, this platform is going to have lava on top of it when we are done. So we are also gonna need trap doors and I'm gonna place those on the edge of the platform and open them up 
like that and I forgot you need to place trapdoors like this as well. Oops, like so. Then you need trapdoors like that. And like that. And, oops, I didn't want that to happen. Not yet. I'm gonna do like that. Then you're going to dig down one, two, three, four. So there should be a three block gap between this floor and the next floor level. And if you like to make this a little bit prettier than just the dirt walls, you can replace the walls with whatever you like down here. And these blocks in the corners are going to have water on them. Now we need to find the middle, which is here. And we're going to make a drop shoot. And we're going to start with going down 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and let's see, this is middle. Go in three blocks 
and take out a room like this. Here we are going to put down a bed. And we are going to put down a light source and a villager and we are going to box him in this guy with his bed is going to represent the village which the pillagers are going to raid And when that's done, we are going to go down another 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And here I have left off something important from the list we need two soul sand or you can use pathway blocks and here we're gonna dig ourselves a cozy little room this room will be where you ideally enter this area from the nether uh, it's the easiest way to do it uh, but you can also set up a ladder path to the top and I'm going to show you that later on like so need a light source so we don't get a lot of spawns under the soul sand we are going to put chests and hoppers I'm just gonna put oops this like so and of course you can go further down and add a hopper chain underneath with uh, a lot of chests uh, because this is actually going to create a fair amount of of drops I'm just gonna clean up this roof and walls a bit and we are going to need a slab right there and there and close this off like so and you can do that this is where we're gonna be standing when the raid is going on I'm just gonna have slab the floor that we don't get any spawns in here 
and that's pretty much it. And now we gotta get out of here. And I'm just gonna do a quick and dirty hole like that. See, we come out just on the outside. And I'm gonna No? Oh, half slab. Yeah, I was gonna use the scaffolding to get up and down. And you can do this. And if you want to hide this a little bit, you can put a pressure plate on top of it. Now, let's get inside here again. You're gonna need a half slab. Not there. A half slab there. And you're gonna need to take this roof down. Or floor, I should say. like that and we are going to need a let's do that and you're gonna need oops to make a well, sort of a bucket out of these trap doors and on top we are going to make a ring of slabs with trap doors on top And then we're gonna do a slab like that. And this is where our bait villager is going to be sitting. Like that. Let's put down our four water sources. Oh, I forgot. Of course, I did. Pens gates. We need. Fence gates. Place it like this and open them. And now you can place the water sources. You can use bucket or you can use ice. Uh, in survival, ice might be the simplest way. Like that, and I'm gonna hang a lantern up so we see what we are doing. Now we need signs, and this is gonna be a bit tricky. Oh, I missed a
trap door on top of these trap doors we are going to put down signs there are five signs oops on each side and to place these you need to shift click because if you don't you're just gonna open and close the trap door but I'm guessing you wanna shift on top of these trap doors anyway and that's it now we can place a single lava on top of that block and it should spread out in the middle and I am hoping that it's not going to burn down the trap doors. But, well, anyway, we're going to start taking down this tower. I'm going to take it down from this level here and leave the top. And you can, of course, take the whole thing down if you want. But the top layer is actually a good way to come in if you're flying with your light drop and you want a safe place to land. And taking down this tower in survival might be a little bit annoying, especially when you get down to this level and start dripping out the cobblestone because the pillagers are going to be able to see you. You can use invisibility potion to minimize that they see you, but I'm not 100% sure it's effective. I haven't tried it myself, but I've seen others do it so I guess it works that's it I'm gonna replace these logs with grass just for ease of mind and this is pretty much the whole farm done. If I were to put a villager down inside here, we should see the pillagers start to walk straight into the farm. But, of course, we need to make this area as flat as possible, so you have 
the pillagers can see the villager in the middle without obstructions. I'm just gonna chop this down and take down the land that sticks out and the trees. And I'm gonna fill in the holes that are in the vicinity. You don't have to go crazy about this. And it should... As long as you take down the trees, so you get line of sight, it should work. Just fine. And let's... I'm gonna fill in this. It's gonna be much more efficient if the land is totally flat around it. Because the pillagers don't need to traverse the terrain. And let's also take down these target dummies. I'm just gonna fill in. The pillagers have a tracking range. From the center point. Out to, I think it's 24. And I'm not sure. Uh, when I tested it, it seems to be... Anywhere from 20 to 25. And if you spawn in a pillager inside that area, they will almost immediately start tracking the villager in the center and walk towards it. And maybe I should ex try and explain uh, why I have this set up. The villager, the pillagers needs to be within 16 blocks for them to be able to shoot and have line of sight but when you come and the pillager comes here and gets inside the 16 block range they lose sight of the villagers but they remember where it is so they keep going towards him and yeah they fall down The lava in the middle is so that we can deal with the Ravenger. I'm just gonna spawn one in, and it should. What? It should be going, yeah, so should you. It should track the villager in the middle, but 
There he goes. And why did you stop? This didn't happen in my test. Did I have? Yes, I had. That's weird. This didn't happen in my test world. In my test world, the scavenger, uh, ravenger tried to get as close to the middle as possible. Maybe the ravenger got glitched when I spawned it in. I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm gonna to take down a little bit more this tower as it's not needed to be here I'm just gonna leave the top Floor intact. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna take down this row as well. Like that. Now we're gonna go down. To this chamber. And let's see if we can get a raid started. And for that we need one of those guys with a banner and of course we don't have one hello banner guy there's not a single guy with banner And why aren't you tracking the villager? I'm confused. You should be tracking the villager in the center, not anything else. Well, at least the scavenger is going in there. Oh, I saw a banner guy drop down. Let's go down and kill him. Here we go. Yeah. 
and hopefully I'm gonna get a few more guys with banners so the raids keep going and here I can demonstrate why I had a bell inside the chest in the start of the video if you ring a bell during a raid all the pillagers in that raid is gonna be lit up so you can see where they are that includes the Ravenger Beast Yeah, but this is it. This is a very easy, or oh, very easy, but it's simple, it's crude way of doing a raid farm. It works. That's the most important part. And it doesn't take too much to do this in terms of material. As I said, most of the wood you can take from the tower itself. Um, I'm guessing getting the villagers in is the hardest part. Uh, you need to use in survivor you need to use uh, minecarts or boats and take them from a village somewhere nearby without the pillagers killing them and that can be Somewhat of an ordeal, I guess. Well, that's gonna be it for today. And thank you for watching.